Theory of the Fourier series, some exercises and their answers. Under the theory of the Fourier series, a graph of periodic function f of x that has a period of l exhibits the same pattern every l units along the x-axis so that the f of x plus l is equal to the f of x. That means the future of this function will be the same. Periodic siya, the period is being repeated and you can determine the future value of that specific graph. If you know that the function looks like over one complete period, we can just sketch the graph of the function over a wider interval of x that may contain many periods. So we are talking about a periodic function. Periodic functions means you can determine the, the future and the past of the signal. So, so this property of repetition defines a fundamental spatial frequency which is k equal to 2 pi over n that can be used to give the first approximation to a periodic pattern function of x. C1 sine kx plus a1 equal to a1 cosine kx plus b1 sine kx amplitude and the phase for the first approximation. This particular periodic pattern can be built up by adding appropriate combination of harmonics to this fundamental side wave pattern. For example, is nagkakaroon ka ng second harmonic, third harmonic. One can even appropriate a square wave pattern with a suitable sum that involves fundamental sine wave plus a combination of harmonics to this fundamental frequency. So this sum is now called the Fourier series. So in this tutorial, we are going to determine what are the values of your A and your B on this format. And as you can see, harmonic yung kanyang frequency. So we will start A sub 0 over 2 plus yung harmonic na meron tayo. So which will have a general formula f of x equal to A sub 0 over 2 plus the summation of your a sub n cosine nx plus b sub n sine nx, which what I'm telling you earlier, and that is from n equal to 1 and up to infinity. For us to be able to break down the Fourier series, we have to determine the a sub 0, a sub n, and b sub n of this general formula. Again, so a sub 0, step 1. That is equal to 1 over pi, integral of function of x dx. We have the range, step 2, that will be a sub n, and that is 1 over pi, integral of f of x times your cosine nx dx. Then for your step 3, you are going to integrate the sine side, which is bn sine nx. So that will be 1 over pi, integral of function of x times sine nx dx. Finally, specify the particular value of your x in a Fourier series gives a series of constant that should equal to f of x1. However, if the function of x is the discontinuous at this value of x, then the series converges to a value that is halfway between the two possible functions. So, for example, for this one, we have a function of x where it has two conditions. One, if your x is greater than pi but less than zero. Zero sha when x is greater than zero but less than pi. We have to sketch the graph, then show that the Fourier series for function of x in the interval of negative pi to pi is having these values and by giving appropriate value for x or you're looking for the value of x where your Fourier series will be true. So we are going to have a function of x that will have two conditions. One, whenever your x is greater than negative pi but less than zero and zero when your x is greater than zero but less than so we have to plot the graph for us to be able to know the, the behavior of that signal. So this is the x and this is your f of x. 
So that means with the height of 1, it will turn 0 from 0 to pi. Since that is a periodic signal, we can follow that this time after pi will go up again. And dito sa portion ng negative, 2 pi, naka 0 siya. So we have one period from here to here. So we have to find the Fourier series of this particular function. We have the general formula of our Fourier series that will be f of x equal to a sub 0 over 2 plus summation of a sub n cosine nx plus b sub n sine nx when n equal to 1 to infinity. So we have to find the values of your a sub 0, a sub n, and b sub n. a sub 0 is equal to 1 over pi integral of the period so that ang one period natin will be from negative pi to pi. Then function of x dx. So since we have two sets of function, one dito sa portion na to, and zero at this portion, can be divided into two parts so that will be 1 over pi integral from negative pi to 0 function of x dx plus 1 over pi integral from 0 to pi function of x dx that will be 1 over pi integral negative pi to 0 of function of x that is 1 and dx plus for our 1 over pi integral of 0 to pi, our function of x is 0 dx. Making this 0. Taking the integral, so this will be 1 over pi. That is integral of 1 dx will be x that is negative 5, pi, and 0. So that will give you 1 over pi times 0 minus negative pi. 1 over pi will give you pi. So, our a sub 0 will be 1. The next part is taking sub b sub n where you have a sub n cosine nx. So, ganun din ang solution yan. Okay? Then, it will give you 1 over pi integral to negative pi to 0. 1 cosine nx dx plus 1 over pi integral of 0 cosine n x dx so this is 0 will give you 1 over pi integral negative pi to 0 cosine n x dx and that will be an integral by part 1 over pi sine nx over n from negative pi to 0 will give you 1 over n pi times sine nx negative pi to 0. n pi sine n times 0 so that is sine 0 is 0 minus sine negative n pi. This one is 0 then. This is 0 also. So that means your a sub n is equal to 0. We don't have a sub n. Then next one is looking for b sub n. So ganun ulit yung pattern. 1 over pi integral of negative pi to 0. 1 times sine nx dx plus 1 over pi 0 sine nx dx from 0 to pi. 0 na ulit to. So, that will, this will give you 1 over pi. Integral of sine x dx will give you so negative cosine nx over n. So, that will give you negative 1 over n pi. Uh, then, cosine uh, n times 0 minus cosine negative n pi. So, that's why it will be negative 1 over n pi times 1 minus negative 1 to the n. So, that is our answer for b. Or simplifying b sub n equal to 
zero whenever n is even number, negative, two over n pi whenever n is odd. So since we have our three constants, you can now have our table. Since our a sub n is zero, we will now graph for every, every value of n, we will have b sub n, and a sub zero is equal to one, a sub n is equal to zero, b sub n is zero, n are even, and negative two, n pi, if that is n is add numbers. So even numbers, zero, zero, then negative two pi, then negative two pi, one third and negative two pi one fifth which will give you a general formula for our Fourier series f of x equal to one half minus two pi times sine so this is now our Fourier series the next question is we have to find the value of x Considering that we, you will have pi over 4 equal to 1 minus 1 third plus 1 fifth minus 1 over 7. How will that happen? So as you can see, 1 minus 1 third, it is saying that your sign should have the value of either 1 or negative 1. And when will that happen? So let's say x equal to 5 over 2. That will be f of x equal to 1 half minus 2 over pi sine pi over 2 function of x equal to 0. Pi over 2 plus 1 third sine 3 pi over 2 plus one fifth sine five pi over two plus one over seven sine seven pi over two. So that is one half minus two pi. That will be sine pi over two is one. Sine three pi pi over two, two pi over two, three pi over two. So that is negative one plus one third times negative one plus one fifth positive one plus one over seven to negative one, which will give you plus dot 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 transpose or multiply both sides by pi over 2 will give you pi over 4 equal to the series 1 minus 1 third plus 1 fifth minus 1 seven plus dot 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 so this will be true when x is equal to pi over 2 for this example, we have f of x equal to 0 whenever your x is greater than negative pi and less than 0. And we have value of x whenever your x is greater than 0 but less than pi. We want to sketch the graph from the interval of negative 3 pi to 3 pi. Then I'll show that the Fourier series for this particular limit is this n so the appropriate x for this particular condition. So first is, you have to graph them between the interval of negative 3, pi to 3. Okay. Then when it comes to uh, x thou shaft at the value of pi, okay? Then, since periodic yang, so this is our graph for the span of negative 3 pi to pi. The next is we have to find the general formula. So f of x equal to a sub o over 2 plus, so that is our general formula, a sub o equal to 1 over pi integral from negative, since ang given sa atin is negative pi to pi dx. So, baliktad naman ngayon. Kanina, the 0 is in 0 to pi. The 0 now is in negative pi to 0. So that will be, so this is 0, plus 1 over pi dx dx. x squared over 2. Our function has 0 and the value of x. We have x as height. So it will be function of x. And this 0 to pi should have the value of 
x. So, integral of x dx will be x squared over 2, which will give you 1 over pi times pi squared over 2, which is pi over 2 as your a sub 0. Second step, 1 over pi integral of function of x cosine nx dx from negative pi to pi. Ito 0 na. Next will be, so that means this will give you 1 over pi integral of zero, so 0 to pi that will be x cosine nx dx. So that will be integral by part dx. Will give you a sub n will now be 1 over pi pi sine n pi over n minus 0 part na to minus 1 over n negative cosine nx over n from 0 to pi naman. So, that will be 1 over pi is of course 0 minus 0. Simplifying, it will be plus 1 over n squared cosine nx from 0 to pi. 1 over pi n squared with negative 1 to n minus 1. So, therefore, our a sub n will have the value of 0 whenever your n is even and that will give you negative 2 over pi n squared whenever your n is odd number. b sub n will be equal to 1 over pi integral of function of x sine nx dx. Ito 0 na. So, we'll give you 1 over pi integral of 0 to pi with x sine n x dx. So, integration by part again. Okay? So, we'll give you negative cosine n x over n dx. So, again, review your integration. Cosine pi is negative 1 cosine 0 is 1 so that means your b sub n will have two conditions as well negative 1 over n if that is n is even and positive 1 over n when your n is odd numbers okay, summary natin a sub 0 is pi over 2 a sub n has 0 so whenever n is even and negative 2 over n squared pi whenever n is odd and b sub n has negative 1 over n and n is even positive odd so next step is table a n 0 na siya sa even then negative so this will be negative 2 over pi then this is negative 2 over pi, 1 over a squared. Then negative 2 over pi, 1 over 5 squared. For b sub n, so that will be the coefficients of our Fourier series. f of x, that is a sub 0 over 2, since we have pi over 2. Pi over 2 over 2 is pi over 4. Factor out negative 2 over pi. b sub n plus minus 1 fourth sine for x so on and so forth so we have na our Fourier series we have the first condition where you have to find where your x will be pi over 4 equal to plus dot 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 then you isa is when your pi squared over 8 is equal to plus dot 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 